The Sonosight S-Series has advanced automated image optimization technology that greatly simplifies user controls. Many controls are automatically adjusted by the system depending upon depth selection. Therefore, only a few controls may need to be adjusted to obtain the best image quality. This tutorial will review the key functions that are used most frequently when optimizing an image. Please refer to the user guide for a complete explanation of all controls that may be adjusted. To enter information on the patient form, place the cursor on the last name field and press Select. A soft keyboard will be displayed. Highlight the appropriate character and press the Select key to enter the text. Enter the information into the appropriate fields, including patient name and ID number. This screen is also used to select the exam type, the exam label, and provide data regarding who performed the examination and the institution where it was performed. All information entered here will be displayed on the image display screen. After you have entered the patient information, press Done. Confirm the message, this is a new patient, do you want to continue, by selecting OK. Once a patient is entered, all saved images are linked to that patient. Patient information can be edited during the exam by pressing the patient key. However, if the patient name or ID number changes, a new patient is created. If you have not already done so, select the exam type from the secondary controls on the left of the image display. The exam choices available are dependent upon the connected transducer. Selecting the exam type will optimize the system settings for the clinical exam you have chosen. You may change the exam type at any time during the study. The exam type symbol will change in the top right corner of the image display to indicate the exam type has been selected. Use a coupling gel to remove any air between the transducer face and the skin surface. Once you have located the area of interest, adjust the depth of the image to center the area of interest in the middle of the image display. For quick optimization of the gain settings on the system, press the Auto Gain key. The system will evaluate the image and apply the appropriate gain level settings. If you would prefer to change the gain settings, turn the gain knob to the Near, Far, or Default Overall mode. This will increase or decrease the amount of gain applied to the near field, far field, or the overall image. To toggle between gain compensation selections, press the Gain knob. Once the desired image is obtained, you may freeze the image. At this point, you may save the image, review individual frames in the cine buffer, zoom the image, or take measurements. The cine buffer can be accessed using the gain knob. Turning the gain knob counterclockwise reviews images retrospectively, and moving the gain knob clockwise reviews images prospectively. The frame number will change dynamically as the gain knob is manipulated. Press the Zoom key to activate the touchpad to pan the image to the area of interest. A measurement may be performed on a frozen image. Activate calipers by pressing the caliper key. Move the caliper to the point of interest by using the touchpad. To measure from the skin surface, place the caliper at the area of interest. An active measurement will be displayed in the bottom left corner of the image display. To perform a linear measurement, place the caliper at the point of interest and press the set key. Another caliper will be activated. Move the caliper to the point of interest to complete the measurement. Area measurements may be obtained by using the ellipse method. If further image optimization is needed based on the patient's body habitus, select the 2D optimization feature on page 2 of the secondary controls. 
This feature automatically adjusts features such as focal zones, transducer frequency, and bandwidth. Res provides the best resolution possible. Gen provides a balance between resolution and penetration. Pen provides the best possible penetration. Color Doppler may be used to quickly identify where blood flow is located in a structure. Press the color key to activate Color Doppler or Color Power Doppler. A region of interest or ROI box will appear in the center of the screen. Use the touchpad to change the position of the ROI box. The system settings for color will be displayed in the top left corner of the screen. Use the gain knob to adjust the overall color gain level for color power Doppler or color Doppler. When you freeze a color image, the gain knob can also be used to review individual frames in the Cine buffer. Press the 2D key to return to 2D imaging. When you are ready to store your image, press the Save key to save the image to the internal storage. The capacity of the internal storage is 4 gigabytes, or approximately 32,000 images. To save an image clip, press the Clip key. Clips are stored prospectively. The length of the clip can be determined on the Clip menu. A clip length of 2 to 60 seconds can be selected. The clip may be reviewed by selecting List in the Patient Exam List and then pressing Play. When you have acquired all images and clips for the study, press the Patient key and choose End Exam from the on-screen menu to finalize the exam and end the study. This concludes this brief review of imaging modes and system controls to optimize the ultrasound image. For an extensive review of system features and functions, please refer to the System User Guide.